Welcome to WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. And tonight, we've got the Minnesota Lynx playing against the New York Liberty. This is Blake Suniga alongside Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, and we're excited for some 2K hoops. And guys, we should be in for a fun one here with this meeting between two premier offenses. I'll tell you who it's not going to be fun for, the defenses. I mean, they're going to have their hands full trying to deal with all this firepower. It's going to be interesting to see which side can provide the most resistance defensively. Even the smallest impact on that end could sway this game. Now here's Collier for three. Kayla McBride, good on the triple. What a selfless decision by Collier. She sees someone with a better look, gets him the ball. Now Ionescu. Dangerfield outside. Pass to Dolson. Back to Dangerfield. An easy two points on the layup. Down there in the low post is where you want to create a lot of your offense. Jefferson outside. Ariel Powers on the wing. No good on the triple. Laney with it. And about one minute gone in the first quarter. Dolson, shot's good. Well, she was wide open, and Laney found her. Here's Jefferson. Pass to Fowles. Powers fouls the screen. Here's Collier. Ooh, no luck on that one. Good D by Natasha Howard. Ionescu. McBride covering. Ionescu outside. To the middle. And here is Howard. Clock at six. For three. That one is off. Now the Lynx take it the other way. Well, really from a couple of years before Sabrina Ionescu came to the league, we knew she would be the top pick of the draft, but she has had a challenging start to her pro career. Now here's McBride. Pass to Jefferson. Fouls a screen. Left side powers. And she's way off from outside. Now danger field. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Ionescu outside. Let's go with a three. Fouls with the rebound. And unfortunately for Ionescu, her rookie season was difficult. Well, you start with the you know 2020 draft. It's a virtual one. You don't get to go in person. And Sabrina uh, had to start her career without fans back in the bubble. And then game three in Bradenton, a bad ankle injury ends her season. So just a nightmare start to her career. Despite all of that, Ionescu has become a star. Now here's Dangerfield. Shoots from the baseline. Jump shot is good that time. Effective use of the mid-range. Dangerfield getting two on the board. Minnesota trailing. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Time called here. The Lynx decide to talk it over.
and first quarter. We're about three and a half minutes in. Now here's Jefferson. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Powers. Clock at four. Goes over to Laney. A nice shot by Powers. By making that mid-range jumper, Ariel Powers opens up the rest of the floor for herself and her team. Dolson sets the screen. Danger fields with it. Laney outside. Dolson with the screen. It's hauled in by the Lynx. The shot was there for her. She had to take it. And I don't care if she didn't convert. She should take it again next time. Now here's Powers. Pass to Jefferson. The tray. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. The efficiency of Powers passing is great. Delivers the ball straight to a wide open shooter. Ionescu outside. And it's rebounded by Sylvia Fowles. The Lynx leading. Well, there's a lot of great basketball cities in the country. We know that. But there is nothing, and I mean nothing, like playing in New York. There's just something different about playing hoops in the Big Apple. Now here's the ride. Here's Fowles. And Laney pulls it down. That's a shot she's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. Pass to Dolson. Now Laney. Dangerfield outside. Laney. Can't get it to fall. And I got to admit, I agree with Brian. Basketball in the big city is something special. Unfortunately, I've got to agree with Brian, too. I mean, if you think about all the great players who've come through this city, how incredible the atmosphere is for Knicks and Liberty games. Games in New York, you know, they are special, and every WNBA player loves playing here. Now here's Laney. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Tries to snap the cold streak. And Dolson with the layup. And that makes it a tie ball game. What a setup on that hoop. Dangerfield with the best decision. Time called here. The Lynx decide to talk it over. Teams will make substitutions. And here's Bannum. Pass to Allen. Don't touch the screen. He can't get that one to fall. And it's the Liberty taking it the other way. Outside Whitcomb on a screen. Puts it up. Whitcomb misses. A real defensive lapse there. She's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. They're lucky she didn't punish him there. She is one of the best when it comes to making the sweet lead pass. 
going all in. That was the 2K drive, and it's well worth a second look. Well, as an offensive player, you always want to put pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Here's Johannes. Now Allen. Pass to Whitcomb. From downtown. Allen with the rebound. Now Bantam. Pick by Dantas. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. And for the teams that haven't quite met expectations, is this the point of the season where you start thinking about making trades or do you wait a little bit longer? I mean, I've always believed that if you have the ability to improve your team, then you absolutely should. Even if that means shaking up the locker room a little. Yeah, I know a lot of coaches that would prefer to work through it with the players they have, but the front offices are typically a little more antsy to make a move. From 2011 to 2017, the Minnesota Lynx went on the best extended run in WNBA history, reaching the finals six of seven seasons, winning four titles. And no luck at the stripe this time, second miss. And the Lynx going on that incredible run. Brian, will we ever see a stretch like that again? I really don't think so, Blake, because there's just so much parity in the league nowadays. And to me, that makes that Minnesota stretch even more impressive. Now here's Allen. Pass to Bantam. Just five to shoot. Fires from deep. They get it back. Collier gets the bucket. This speaks to Collier's no-quit attitude. She is just determined to keep plays going with her hustle. Here's Whitcomb. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Here's Johannes. Off target from outside. Yeah, the great shooters, they know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice there. Yeah, not very good defensive coverage that time. The D got lucky. Now here's Collier. And she converts the layup. This has been a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring from the paint. You know, really, that's why they're on this run. You get that, that close to the hoop, and it's a lot easier to drop shots in. Here's Allen. Pass to Johannes. Now here's Whitcomb. Sinks the triple. You know what? I don't care how far from the bucket she is. You've got to have a defender on her. She's just too good from long range. Now here's Allen. Picked by Dantas. Now here's Collier. Onion Wade covering. Collier, that's good. Every time they get scored on during this run, it seems like it's come from inside the paint. Buckle up on defense. Yeah, it's time to collapse down and make them shoot jumpers. Here's Johannes. Up top, Whitcomb. Here's Allen. The three-pointer, no good. And a chance at a two-for-one if they want it. And I'm not a genius like Brian. But if I'm them, I'd try for that. Now give yourself some credit, Tim. You're pretty smart. Now here's Allen. Pass to Bantam. The three is up. Oh, she goes up again. And the bucket counts. And she's on her way to the line to try to make it a three-point play. First personal foul, teams first. The Lynx making a switch here. You know, Collier has quickly proven her ability here in the WNBA, and I think she's only going to get better as time goes on. Now here's Whitcomb. Pass to Johannes. The three gets it to go from downtown. 
She was one step ahead of the D in making that pass. Nice assist. From deep. She got it up in time, but it couldn't fall for it. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Links ahead. They lead by five. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. Just getting set to begin. And from what we've seen from the Lynx, what's your take so far? Not too much trouble for them in the rebounding department as they've uh, really dominated the glass. Yeah, they flexed their muscle down low and really limited second chances. The Liberty Trail. to Howard. Oh! And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's going to be on Nafisa Collier. That's where she wants the ball. Howard is such a high percentage shooter. She gets into good spots, forces fouls. This is her first opportunity at the line this evening. The first one falls. Sometimes a player just needs the right situation. I mean, just look at Natasha Howard. Since a 2018 trade from Minnesota to Seattle, Howard's career has taken off. He's perfect from the line this time. And Natasha Howard, the 2018 most improved player in the WNBA. In a starting role, Howard exploded with the storm, given a chance to play more. Natasha Howard has blossomed into one of the best forwards in the WNBA. Now here's Collier, and the call will be against Laney. That is her first foul of the game. First team foul. Here's Collier. Unloads from 13 feet. And the layup's good off the glass. Through her first five years in the league, not one three-point attempt. Achunwa is a throwback power forward. She's going to pound you inside. Three-pointer Sabrina Ionescu. Rebound by the Lynx. Well, if this ball game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. They've had a strong game on that front without question. And the ball out of play. The Liberty will have it. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Here's Johannes. She's covered by Jefferson. Sabrina Ionescu from outside. And it's Collier with the rebound. She can't get anything to drop. And the way she's going, it's probably not something she should try to, to shoot her way out of. And I'm sure her teammates would agree with that. You know, the last thing they want to see her doing is shooting it more. Now here is Ionescu. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And good that time. Well, that's the decisiveness you need to have on catch and shoot jumpers. Howard doesn't really second guess her shot attempts. Here's Powers. Fouls the screen. Outside Powers. Six on the shot clock. Oh! And they're going to count the bucket and send her to the line. It could be a three-point play. Well, Sylvia Fowles is a multiple-time defensive player of the year, but she's also a tremendous offensive player as well. In fact, she's one of the most efficient ever. Sylvia fouls. Her offensive numbers are eye-popping. Well, Sylvia, first all-time in effective 
field goal percentage. Just about 60% from the field during her career as well. And Fouls has tremendous touch in the post and all-time great. And they continue to control the glass. I think they've been the more physical team, guys, and that's why they're ahead. Usually the more physical, more aggressive team wins the game. Jefferson uses the glass to finish the layup. They've been the hotter team in the first half so far, guys. Well, they've been grinding, working for those high percentage shots, and it's been paying off for them. And let's see if this uh, success continues to go as we get longer into this game. Now here's Howard over McBride, and she can't bank that one in. Jefferson outside. Shoots from 14. Tasha Howard pulls it in. Here's New York now. Trailing here by eight. Here's Johannes. Back to Howard. Shoots over Jefferson. That's in. She's got two made now, and she's shooting two for three. She's coming to life after a slow start in the first quarter. Jefferson outside. Pass to McBride. Fouls guarded by Dolson. Fouls can't get it to go. Howard with the ball. She's got six. And here's Johannes. Here's Ionescu. Howard with the ball. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. From 2017 to 2020, in a four-year stretch, Natasha Howard winning three championships, getting her first ring in 2017 with Minnesota, then two titles with Seattle in 2018 and 2020. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. And it's no coincidence that Natasha Howard has won three titles in four years. Well, obviously, defense matters so much in this league. And Howard is a defensive player of the year. Her length has a big effect on opponents. And she's just such a tremendous competitor. And she sinks the second. They're getting it to the line a lot this quarter, and it hasn't been by accident. No, I mean, they've ramped up the aggression, and it's paying off. Pound it inside, get him into foul trouble, get those freebies. You nailed it. Hits it and gets hacked. That's a three-point play opportunity. And they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second quarter. That ought to help them increase their separation. Impressive offensive output. Oh, whenever you bring up future Hall of Famer Sylvia Fowles in her game, the first thing you should think of, rebounding. Sylvia Fowles, the WNBA is all-time leader in rebounds. Obviously, her 6'6 height is a big help, but Fowles also is tremendous at reading shots and reading angles. Plus, she plays with such fire, which I know helps her out on the boards. She gets it in there. I think Dangerfield just left the defender in awe. That was a great move. Jefferson outside. Shoots over Dangerfield. And it doesn't even draw iron. New York trailing here. Pass to Dolson. Out to the wing. Here's Ionescu. It's not going to go for her. 
And Minnesota the other way now. Well, this is a day that she would like to forget. Just hasn't had the energy to get it done out there. Still without a point. Now here's Jefferson. She's got five. Powers. And the Lynx miss again. Mastellini. Dangerfield outside. Now Howard. Down it goes. Her third basket. He's now three for four. I just love the composure Howard plays with inside. She's so comfortable around the rim. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. making substitutions here. Here's Bannum. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Dantas outside. Pass to Carlton. There's a screen by Achanwa. Whitcomb with the steal. And here's Onion Wade. Dangerfield. She's covered by Allen. From about 19 feet. The rebound by Dantas. Well, she didn't have a hand in her face, so I thought she was for sure going to bury that. An original franchise back in 1997, the New York Liberty had a lot of success early on, making it to the first WNBA Finals. There's a screen by Achanwa. And again, no good by Minnesota. And looking at those early Liberty teams, they won a lot of games. Yeah, well, the good news, New York owned the East, winning it in four of the first six seasons. But then you got the bad news. They could just not get over the hump, going 0-4 in the WNBA Finals. Those defenders look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're just getting pushed around on the low block. Maybe coach has got to make a substitution or something to energize this team. Well, they better rally soon. They've given up three straight buckets in the paint. Now here's Allen. Trying to get back on track. And Wade A grabs the board. Now here's Allen. There's the three. She's now one for two with that button. Up to the defense, they got to talk to each other. Clearly in air, not getting out there on her three-point attempt. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Now Bannum. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Pass to Whitcomb. Pick by Onion Wade. The three pointer off the mark. The Lynx with the lead. Here's
Here's Bannum. Right wing. Here's Achanwa. It's good. That wasn't easy. Credit to Achanwa for not letting the defense affect her shot. Great concentration. Outside Whitcomb. Picked by Onion Wade. The left wing. Three pointer. Rebound by the Lynx. It can be so deflating to miss a wide open look like that. And here's Carlton. Pass to Allen. Here's Carlton. Let's it go from deep. Offensive rebound. Six to shoot. Here's Bannum. Whitcomb defending. Bannum, no good. And so it's New York with it. It's a three-point game. Passed on Yunwede. On. Dangerfield, right side. This one for three. The shot will not fall. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of the play. Wings ahead, up by three. And we will be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Start of the third quarter here after a closely contested first half. You know, Nafisa Collier has been exceptional here, guys. Well, she created a lot of good shots for herself in the first couple of quarters. And she knows when to pass up on the tough ones. Good shot selection. And that led to a very high points per shot number for her. And that's a stat that really tells you how efficient a player has been. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. Dangerfield outside. Pass to Ionescu. For the tie. The three-pointer is on target. It's a tie ball game. Can't give Ionescu any airspace from downtown. If you do, she'll torch you from there. Powers with it. Right outside. Over to the wing. Elbow shot on the way. Jefferson, no good. Pass to Ionescu. Now Howard, covered by Collier. For the lead. Howard can't get it to go. And she doesn't miss many of those, uh, especially with the defender not in the best of positions. And Afisa Collier led the league in minutes during each of her first two seasons in the league. I mean, pretty much unheard of for a rookie, for a young player. On offense, here the Liberty. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Up top, Dangerfield. She's covered by Jefferson. A shot by Dangerfield, no good. And Collier is just someone you can't afford to keep on the bench. Well, Nafisa has such a diverse skill set. I mean, just look at 2020, when she ranked top three in steals and rebounding, top 10 in blocks and baskets made. I mean, you name it, and Collier can do it. Boy, coming out of halftime slow, 0 for 3. Yanescu outside. Back to Dangerfield. Dolson covered by fouls. Yanescu up top. 
Laney, screened by Howard for the lead. Sylvia Fowles comes up with the rebound. Still cold from the field at the start of this third quarter. One of four so far. And they take the lead. They get one to drop. One of four here in the third. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. And the Liberty call time here. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes passed. Here's Johannes. She's covered by Jefferson. Yanescu can't get it to go. Their offense scuffling a bit in the second half. Just one for five. Jefferson outside. post Sylvia Fowles and finished off by Sylvia Fowles when executed correctly the pick and roll can be so effective Fowles understands that because she's a student of the game here's Johannes pass to Ionescu inside outside for Laney now Ionescu shot clock at five connects from three point range well, you simply cannot let Ionescu get comfortable shooting it, especially from that short corner. Well, it's really hard to pick the best Lynx team in their franchise history, but I think I have to say 2017. They led the league in offensive and defensive rating. They went 27-7, and seven, and oh yeah, by the way, they won a title. Their prowess inside has just been tremendous, guys. It's been no contest on the low block. And really, Brian, until the defense puts up at least some resistance, they ought to just keep pounding them down low. And it's blocked by Sylvia Fowles. Just so dominant. Fowles has won multiple Defensive Player of the Year awards for a reason. Outside Powers. That three off the mark. And beyond the numbers for the 2017 Lynx, the roster was just unreal. Oh, you look at that roster. I mean, you have multiple Hall of Famers, defense anchored by Sylvia Fowles, one of the best defensive players ever, an offense that was efficient. That 2017 Minnesota team had it all. I think they're in the conversation for best WNBA team ever. Laney's shot is off. The Lynx with the lead. Up top fouls, covered by Ionescu. 11 feet out. Jefferson, no good. Her shot has been off today. With her team leading, perhaps she should maybe focus more on her floor game. The shot is good by Ionescu. And after a scoreless first half, she's come to life here in the second half. Jefferson with it. Five points in the game. Pass to Fowles. Pick ride, covered by Ionescu. 
fouls the screen. Misses off the left iron. I guess even she misses those easy opportunities once in a while. Ionescu has it. She's covered by Jefferson. That evens the score. Little teardrop from Ionescu. You need this shot to excel in the WNBA as a point like Sabrina is. Time called here. The Lynx decide to talk it over. There is zero doubt. Sabrina Ionescu is the cornerstone of this New York Liberty organization. Since the Liberty won the lottery, let alone had the draft, I mean, she was the focal point in New York. And here are the links now. Dantas the screen. Bannum. Pass to Allen. And here's Bannum. Dantas. And the links miss again. Now here's Whitcomb. Here's Johannes. Shot clock at six. For the lead. Good on the jump shot. Now Allen. Pass to Carlton. And here's Bannum. Allen with it. Takes the three. Drops in the tray. New York trailing here. Now here's Allen. Up top, Whitcomb. From outside the arc. The rebound by Dantas. They got lucky. They got lucky. And the defense is taking a big chance, leaving her open behind the arc. And I'm not sure I'm okay with that game play. And there's the foul called on Whitcomb. That's her first foul. First team foul. So the links now. Allen with it. Guarded now by Han. Allen's shot is off. Yeah, she tried to fight her way through traffic and just couldn't do it. Down low. Great pass to set up the land. I really like their activity in the post today. Their movement down low has just been great. Exactly. They've generated easy opportunities inside. And no lack of aggression on that move. And that's good enough for the 2K drive. And in a tight one like this, you got to dig deep. Find a way to make things happen. Now here's Allen. Seven points in the game. Pass to Bantam for 13. And misses it off the right side of the rim. New York in the lead. Here's Onion Wade. And Onion Wade picks up the foul. That'll be her second foul of the game. Great play to sacrifice her body, take the charge, giving up her body for the team. 
And really a heads-up play as well. Reads the play nicely and gets in the perfect position. Here's Carlton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. That one, good for two. And here's Johannes. Outside Whitcomb. Pass to Anyanwede. And the foul called on Collier. That's foul number two for her. First team foul. Here's Allen. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Whitcomb. Fires for three. No good. Now the Lynx take it the other way. Here's Allen. Now Carlton. Here's Bannum. Achanwa picks up the foul. That is her first foul of the game. First team foul. to Whitcomb. And here's Johannes. Chase covered by Allen. Now here's Onion Wade. Johannes. But they'll get another chance. Count it. Good. Here's Bannum. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Now Carlton. And here's Bannum. The screen by Collier. Allen's shot is off. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Shot's good by Johannes. Very solid play out of them this time. Here's Minnesota. They trail by three. Jake, sir. And the layup is up and in. I know it's fun to sit back and enjoy watching her operate. And guess what? That's what the D was doing, too. Just sitting back and watching. Have to be more active. And we have just finished the third quarter. And a tight game we've got. Liberty out in front, up by one. And we'll return shortly. Well, I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. And with the accuracy to go along with that vision, she put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That is how you orchestrate. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. Now here's Powers. Pass to Allen. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Powers. There's the triple. Dangerfield pulls it in. Some of the shots she's taken today have been absolute head scratchers. She's out there playing like it's a game of horse, and it's not. Now here is Ionescu. And a foul on the shot. She'll go to the strike for two. Sabrina Ionescu might be the most hyped player we've ever seen coming into the league. I mean, you would think about draft night 2020. Her jersey sold out within minutes of the Liberty taking her. And the first one at the line is good. So much pressure on Ionescu from the jump. That's what happens when you start your career in New York City. Well, everything is magnified in the Big Apple, but Sabrina's navigated it very well. From her humble beginnings in Walnut Creek, California, 
all the way to New York, Ionescu's risen to the occasion. Well, talking about the dynasty days, the Minnesota Lynx, one of the keys to their great run in the 2010s, trading for Sylvia Fowles in 2015. Now here's Jefferson. To the paint, Powers lays it up and banks it in. During her time with Minnesota, Sylvia Fowles won every award. Yeah, MVP, finals MVP, a couple defensive player of the year trophies. What didn't she win? But of course, most importantly, it was multiple championships. That 2015 trade sending Fowles to Minnesota, it changed the history of the league. The Lynx trailing. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Pass to Allen. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. Here's New York now. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Now here's Han. She's guarded by Dantas. Back to Ionescu. And it's good for two. We didn't see much from her the first half, but she's making up for lost time. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right, their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. Outside powers. Can't tie it up as that one misses. She just hasn't looked right. She hasn't. And something's off with her mechanics, I think. Stolen by powers. Here's Jefferson. And again, no good by Minnesota. New York leading. Pass to Dangerfield. Ionescu. Here's Han. She's guarded by Dantas. Back to Ionescu. And down it goes. Two points. She's shaking off that slow start and giving them a boost here in the second half. Around three minutes gone by here in the fourth quarter. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. In the paint, Dantas insists on getting her shots. Doesn't allow contact to slow her down. Danger field outside. To the inside. And out of bounds, the Lynx will take it. The ball goes to Minnesota. Substitution on the court. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone in the fourth. Pass to McBride to tie it up. Hands it from downtown. And it's all knotted up. A shooter who doesn't really need much space to be effective. McBride has a quick and accurate release. Now here's Dangerfield. Ionescu outside. Six to shoot. Over McBride. The shot by Ionescu, no good. To take the lead. The rebound by the Liberty. Pass to Dangerfield. Down low. And that one's good on. Just really good awareness right there on the assist. So the Lynx now. Powers with it. Three-pointer. Jefferson no good. Well, she had one three in the first half, but so far in the second, she's come up empty. With the step back. Now here is Ionescu. Not a lot of room. Pass to Han. Takes the three. Fouls with the rebound. Now here's Jefferson. Now fouls. Guarded by Dangerfield. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. In the zone right now. Fowles' composure when scoring well uh, allows her to just consistently just keep piling them on. Now here's Dangerfield. 
Ionescu outside. Golson covered by fouls. Back to Ionescu. Drops in the layup for two. Now Jefferson. Right outside. Trains the three-pointer. Can score from anywhere on the court. And McBride has really taken on that alpha personality type. Timeout called the Liberty. New York trailing here. Ionescu outside. Pass to Han. Let's the three fly. It's hauled in by the Lynx. Nafisa Collier on the wing. He's covered by Han. Here's Johannes. And here's Ionescu. On with the ball. Shoots over Jefferson. New York, no good that time either. Her shooting number's slipping this quarter. Pass to Fouls. Over Ionescu. Tries again. Fouls can't get it to go. And here's Ionescu. Here's Johannes. From three. And a great assist that time by Sabrina Ionescu as that one goes in. I'm continually impressed by Sabrina Ionescu's vision. She can just find anyone on the court. Fouls guarded by Dolson. Back to McBride. Stolen by Ionescu. Pass to Johannes. Now here's Hahn. Dolson with it. McBride covering. Now Jefferson. And here's Powers. Right outside. And she gets the bucket. The vocal and emotional leader of the team. McBride's squad is in good hands when she has the basketball. And the Liberty call time, time here. Time Looks like the coach saw some things out there that need adjusting. And it's going to take a little time to talk it over. Yeah, and never a bad idea to use a timeout if there's something that's got you concerned.
both teams changing it up here. Yanescu has it. Fires from the line. That's good on the jumper. This is why this team turns to Yanescu during important possessions. They trust her to deliver. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. Powers defended by Laney. Outside Powers. Pass to McBride. Clock at six. The baseline. Jay off the mark. That's one she knows she should have drained. Takes a step back. Powers with the ball. Over Collier. Allen with the rebound. Outside, left side powers. Fouls the screen, and here we go. Powers, here we go. No good with the layup. That's the kind of D that's needed when she got the ball near the hoop. They were all over her. Castellanescu, and here's Dolson. Powers covering. Down on a consistent shooter like Dolson when you need it the most. Bails her team out with a big bucket. Now here's Powers. To the paint. Here's Allen. Yes! And she has brought them within two points. Oh, I love that vision, guys. What a great job threading that pass into the lane. Delaney beyond the arc. The shot off that time. Now the Lynx take it the other way. It's still within reach, but their offense needs to be just about perfect from here on out. And threes better than two. Here's Powers. Oh, missed it! And they commit the intentional foul, and we'll see another one of those so that they can get into the penalty. Yeah, they had to do that. You just can't let them dribble it out. Definitely. Got to stop the clock any way possible and just hope they short arm a few of their free throws. It's a good foul, and it's a good point in this situation to, to make them hit their shots. New York calls timeout.
and an intentional foul right there. First personal foul, team's first. Third team foul. Good on the first, and that makes it a three point lead. And she hits both free throws. And it's a four-point ball game. Now that's how you close a game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. Yeah, what's your take, guys? Well, this one, it's not over if they can get a quick score than foul. Yeah, a few missed free throws and they're right back in it. But it has to happen fast. Exactly, Brian. You have to do it real quick. McBride from the arc. It's good! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. And now they foul and stop the clock. the first one and that will put them up too. Love seeing Inescu step up to the plate right here. She knows her team is depending on her. And so both free throws good this time. And it's a three point game. That last free throw was critical. Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. And so the big win by New York in a really tight game. That was a fun night of basketball and a fabulous finish as they waited until the very last moment to finally seal it. And so many times we see these tight games won at home. That advantage, I think, played a factor here. That'll do it for our broadcast, everyone.